Hi y'all, Liz here. And this week we're talking about the ABCs of cleaning, some of the basics. Now, most of you already know all of this stuff and it's just a refresher, a quick refresher for some of the basics, the ABCs. So the one I wanna talk about today is direction. What direction do you clean? And like, what does that even mean, right? Okay, so when we're talking about direction, when it comes to cleaning, there's certain things that we all know. We know we're supposed to clean from side to side and we're supposed to clean from top to bottom, but there are, are some considerations in there. Which side to which side? Right side to left side? From the center out to the, out to the doors? From the doors into the center? What does that all mean? And top to bottom, always? Do we always clean top to bottom? Is there ever a time when we clean bottom to top? Because there is, right? All right, so we're gonna talk direction. First things first, side to side. So we clean, normally if you are right-handed, you are going to be cleaning from right to left and you should be starting a room at the entrance to the room. Uh, there's a few different reasons for this. If you start cleaning at the same point that the, you enter the room, if you stop for any reason and you tell somebody, listen, I had to leave the master bedroom, I got to the first night stand. Everybody knows exactly what you've cleaned up to until that point. They know that you've cleaned. If you do um, high dusting and low dusting, they know that you've already done your high dusting and they know that you have begun your regular dusting and you've gotten to the first nightstand. So uh, the reason for it is so that everybody's on board all the time with where you're going. That's one thing. The second reason is when you're cleaning right to left, your hand automatically flows this way without ever even having to move. Uh, going this way, you're having to hold your cloth in an awkward manner and you're rotating your wrist in, an, wrist in a risky manner, right? So this way, uh, working right to left, if you're right-handed, is the smarter move. Also, if you're working left to right, if you're left-handed, left to right is the smart move. Many people get uh, bad training in this area. If somebody's left-handed, they'll get trained to clean by a right-handed person, so they'll be trained right to left. That's similar to being trained as a left-handed person, being trained to write with your right hand, or being trained to write in the exact same manner as a right-handed person. It won't work. If you're left-handed, you need to put your arm up so that you don't scrub, um, smear your writing, and there are some things that you have to do that are different. Same thing if you're left-handed. So if you're left-handed and you're cleaning exactly the same way as somebody who's right-handed, it's not best for your body. It's not good for your body mechanics. So I'm gonna suggest, ooh, I know you're gonna hate this, but I'm gonna suggest that you begin cleaning left to right and start cleaning in a way that is better for your body. All right, so left to right, we got handled, right? Right, if you're right-handed, left is your left-handed. Start at the opening to the room, wherever you enter the room, and go all the way around until you exit the room. Now, if you do uh, high-low dusting, or if you do three passes, if you do one pass, it doesn't really matter. Always start at the same spot and end at the same spot. Okay, now, top to bottom. Most of the time, we'll, tell, we'll say that we clean top to bottom, right to left. Right, everybody says that. It's a very, very common phrase. And 95, maybe 90, 95% of the time, it's true, you clean top to bottom. The reason for that is you want all of the sediment, dust, whatever the particles are that you're removing from up high to have a chance to fall down so that when you vacuum the floor, you have a chance to vacuum them up. But there are certain times when you don't clean top to bottom. A uh, prime example is when you're dealing with liquids. So if you're in a shower, you don't clean top to bottom if you are spraying or squirting a liquid on. Now, if you're using a cloth or a sponge where we're not having any drips, then you can. But if you're going to be dealing with anything that has dripping capabilities, then you clean bottom to top. For those of the, you that are new, the people around you can tell you why, but I'm gonna tell you here too. The reason why you clean bottom to top is, uh, if you clean from top to bottom on a wet area and you get any drips, you can get etching in those areas. It can sit on that area for too long and it can be hard to blend that. Uh, especially if you're dealing with any kind of hard water, discoloration. All right, let's say you have discoloration in your shower. Maybe you have an orange discoloration from a rust buildup or something like that. If you, 
uh, apply a chemical or any type of a solution that is going to reduce that color at the top and you get any kind of dripping, the amount of time that it's going to sit on is going to be far exceeded by just dripping than the amount of time that you're spreading here, right? Spreading the, the liquid up above. By the time you get down to where the drip is, all the way down to the bottom, it's been on there so much longer that it's hard to blend it without removing everything to that entire uh, level of, of color removal. And so it depends on how much it is. And sometimes you can get to a place where you've actually etched the material that it's, you're dripping on. So. Showers, large areas where we're dealing with liquids, start at the bottom and work, work your way up. Okay, that's it. So we go side to side, hopefully right to left or left to right if you're left-handed. Start at the opening to the room, top to bottom on dry areas, bottom to top on wet areas, and that's it, direction. All right, question for today is, what's the one area that you're like, dang, I always forget? What's the thing? For me, uh, when I'm doing ceiling fans, you know what I always remember? Right after I finished dusting, doing all of my cobwebbing and I finished my dusting and I'm like, ah, oh, poop, ceiling fan. Worst time, right? After I've done all my dusting, Err. So I have to have, I have to wear a little note for myself if I'm gonna do that. What's yours? Talk to you tomorrow, bye.